Hello everybody, welcome back to Muckin' About. So uh, today we've actually made a, uh, a lot of progress gathering resources offline. We are talking blocks of metal, uh, still quite a few blocks of ores and stuff like that. Uh, but what, we're, what we are distinctly lacking is a residence. And I would like a residence. So we're going to work on that today. What we will see in a moment here is that upstairs I have doled out... I've done two outlines, and I like them both. Let's put those and those in there. Let's grab some of this stone, and for some reason, all the wildlife just loves being in my house. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, Piggy, I didn't know. I didn't know. So, uh, anywho, <laughs> down here, I have, this is where I'm growing, uh, the nether wart, and I also have some, uh, berry bushes that we found in the nether in the previous episodes and such, just from wandering and rambling around. Here I have a very interesting creation. This is actually a one-way door, and I want to be careful about it right here. Uh, most creatures cannot get in here, including me, and this is just a couple of cloud blocks. But with smart moving, we can duck down under and just be one block high, and we can sneak in real quick. So it's one way for most people, but just not for the players. Uh, thought that was neat, so we just left that in there. Yeah, this is my little hidey hole. Got some spells that we've been going through. Anywho. So, outline number one. Uh, this is a the first floor of this house, and I... Uh, Nah, we're not going to work on this one today. Uh, this one will probably be done off camera and I'm just going to piddle around with it and work on little construction doodads. You know, I got a little, oh, excuse me, a little dinky entry hall here. It's nice. I've got a little balcony planned over that way. Definitely a second floor. So we'll see how this one goes. But what we have up here is a much more ambitious project. And this is going to be a castle manor keep sort of thing. That will oh, hey, 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 ignore that. Um, what I have so far is just the outline of the entry hall, and that is not part of the entry hall. This is the smeltery, and it's just sitting here for ease of use at the uh, the moment. There's a little hopper underneath there. It takes out all the ingots and everything out whenever we make them. But what I wanted to do is just get. Boop. Get a flat base layer here of the foundation, and I decided it's going to be stone. Just a simple, classic stone look, and believe it or not, I have been trying to figure out this for a while. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So the initial foundation. This will let us use uh, some nice wood both light and darks to uh, touch up how it's going to appear. Uh, I've been looking at all the new blocks, which here I'll show you real quick. Space block. Uh, Railcraft has actually added in some really nice rock. There's a, a black and a, uh, a white, but they've also added in a nice gray. That's the infernal. Uh, it's what you use to make the, um, the blast furnaces and such out of. The uh, sandy break block is what you use to make the coke ovens, but we've added in uh, bloodstained. We got a bleached bone, which is actually made out of bone, and uh, the frostbound rock blocks. And while I really like these colors and these additions, and the capabilities of these half slabs is that you can actually stack different ones on top of each other. So it'll work out really, really well. Um, there's also all the different versions. Sorry, let me see. Uh, blood. Space. Uh, so, I mean, you can get just the nice little, uh, little like, thin bricks, large bricks. There's, I, I love that little thin brick stuff. Bloodstained brick. There's the uh, fence post, there's the ornate, then there's the etched. Uh, there's many different versions of them, so they really went all out, and it gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of possibility for what to build with, where, how to do it. One, two, three, one, two... 
five. Uh, but I've decided for this, I, I don't want a huge red building, even though, you know, you say it, it sounds pretty freaking cool. Uh, but it's just, it's not what I'm going for in this particular instance. Yeah, nice little double archway there. So uh, I decided just to go back to basics, get a simple gray stone as the, uh, the foundation layer uh, for this house. So we're just going to... I'm actually going to stop right here. This back wall is more of just a placeholder at the moment of where I want to start putting archways going into the second house. You know, there'll be uh, like a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe a dining room or tables or something like that in this particular area. But it's also where a staircase is going to sweep up to the second floor. And it's the second floor that will carry on to the back of the hill. And I need to slow down. I seem to be rushing my talking. It's making me feel like I'm nervous here. Ah, oh, there we go. Chill. Yeah. So, um, but it's going to be uh, fairly exciting. I have some plans where I'm going to kind of try and make this be very castle keepy sort of deal. Is, oops, don't need to zoom that again. Let's head over this way. I've been slowly restoring the river that goes around the place. Oh, and uh, this is Sketchy's construction. He's put up this bridge, and there's a lot of uh, Ars Magica going on right over there. But I've been working on extending the river here, trying to keep it nice and uh, large. Ah, Sketchy's wolf doesn't like me. <laughs> uh, Creeper's helped out with some of it. I'm etching around here. I'm doing it dry for now. And it will connect. I'll make it water on the all, all the sides. So I want it to go... I need to run a little bit south here. I want it to go all the way around pretty much this segment of the uh, the Badland Hill that I'm on. So there we go. So it'll be uh, right over to the edge. That is uh, Kitty's Island to the uh, southeast corner right there. And like right north of that island is where I'd like to dig the, uh, the river back in again. So we'll cut up through the land. Let me get somewhere a little bit safer here. It'll cut up through the land right on this eastern edge of the hill. And kind of give me like a uh, natural, quote unquote, <laughs> surrounding moat. Uh, I might even have it come up either side of that tree just so it'll look kind of neat. Go up around the edge, cut through I believe the end of that valley and that would be an awesome place to put a little bit of a, uh, a bridge over sort of deal from one side of this hill to the other side of this hill and then reconnect with the river right up there. So uh, that would give me this entire top of the hill to really, you know, expand onto, build the different rooms, the different areas. We have more than enough mods that we will need plenty of room to spread things out because a lot of things, like that, that smelter is a 5x5. Five five. It takes up quite a bit of room. I was not able to fit it in any of these little uh, tower outposts. Uh, another new addition, which you guys uh, may recall, is uh, one of our trees have grown. Uh, this is actually kind of disappointing, is this is the tree that we were looking to grow just for resources. And Bilbo's tree has not grown yet. So we will be taking care of that, but that is awesome. Look at that. It's even got a door on the front of it, you can probably just barely make it out. Okay, so back to building. Going to lay down the rest of these blocks. I'm going to need a few more, so let's just... Oh, okay, so right-clicking picks up the whole stack at once instead of shift-clicking. I do recall an episode ago I was asking for that functionality, and <laughs> now I know it's in there. Ah, not exactly the way I wanted to find out, though. Let's uh, just finish this final layer off. I'm also, look, also looking forward to the uh, coloration that will be coming up in the next update of Minecraft, the 1.6 uh, the that has the colored clay blocks. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of this back ridge. We will leave the one directly across from the entrance. As well as the ends here, this will mark our place. 
Smelter is going to have to come down once this gets to be a little bit more set up. Uh, I also, you know, I should just have on me... Whoa. Okay, I didn't know that. The, uh, the redwood bark is not useful for planks. I guess you have to use the, uh, the heartwood or maybe the rootwood? Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe... oh. Burn it for charcoal. <laughs> it even says it in the tooltip. Okay, okay, okay. So let's uh, get a little bit of wood here. I'm going to make a crafting table real quick, because that'll help us put things together real quick. Or, er, real quick. How many more times can I say that? Let's just grab this. I know it's almost done. Yay, level 15. Actually, got some quartz. Got some quarry stone. The quartz has other uses, so I'm kind of eh, in that area. The quarried stone, though, is really, really, really white. Really, really white. Uh, we're going to quickly run into another need for another resource that I really do not have that much of, and that is going to be wool. I really do want to be able to put down some fairly nice. flooring and stuff like that, like, you know, little red carpets, black carpets, things like that, blue, all the colors that I like. Only need a couple of these, so let's not worry too much about it. Give ourselves a nice little walkway. A little bit of an entrance. Not sure exactly what we're going to be doing down here. I might just go have a, uh, a lower viewing area. This will kind of hang out over the water, you know, a nice little sitting area. Some sort of a castle-y patio. And you know, as I'm looking at this now, this place is too big and too grand to have a single door like that. Let's uh, do this up invertedly. Let's still use dirt. There, so we'll actually have two entranceways. Move this over. And I'm one block shy. Isn't that always the way? Nope, that was not the right way. That way. I am sure we will find something else to use all this on. This may become something a little bit different. Uh, or I'll actually probably just get one of the, the berry, uh, berry bush plants. Maybe one of the nether ones, they have uh, some nice colors. This is a uh, sting plant that Sketchy's currently grown. But I have a nice blue that I actually hope I have a second one already. Maybe I don't. I do. Alright, so these are exactly the same. They give you these little things, which uh, I have been known to say are kind of useless. Um, I'm told they're actually fairly useful if you don't have smart movement. <laughs> um, we do have smart movement, so the extra jump isn't all that important to us. But, oh, there's the problem. These things require soul sand. Do I really want a block of soul sand? Oh! <laughs> there's the sign. <laughs> it gave us a little bitty uh, baby plant to go and plant with. So yeah, we will take a, uh, a block of soul sand and use that outside of our door. That'll start giving us some of the uh, coloration tones and stuff that we're going to go working with. So I guess it's gray and blue. Uh, it'll be nice. What we will have to do is be careful with uh, how this grows. Is these like to grow three tall? I'll need to get some sort of a partial block or a micro block, maybe even a, um, a painting or a sign to get it to either let it grow all the way up three, let it grow up two and place maybe a torch up top, or let it grow up just one and place like a sign or a painting or something on that wall there. We shall indeed see. Up, up, and up. Do we want a faced brick? Holding up the archway? No, we don't. We want a nice piece of wood that we're going to be walking by. 
so for now, we'll leave that as the dirt. So there we go. Uh, the entryway will then again meet right on the other side here. And we'll have a nice little designed rug on the ground. Actually, you know, this might be a good spot to swap it off into twos. I forgot to mention this place is hollow. Yes, indeed. I was uh, actually doing my first work up here, clearing off the land and stuff like that, and working on the terraforming. And ended up... Why does this look weird? This looks really weird. But, right. There we go. And ended up uh, actually falling through the holes here. It was not an overly pleasant experience. There was uh, zombies and creepers down there waiting for me. And I could hear them hissing through the ground. Nah. Okay, so if we have our walkways continue, it's easy enough to branch off in perpendicular, direct, uh, perpendicular directions at another dimension again. But having a little bit more of a flow, I mean, this will go right into the double entrance for these uh, side towers. And that is where we will leave the smelter alone for now. It's going to come all the way over. This is the site of a creeper being devious. Aren't they always? So we go over to the side here, and that's a goodly amount. Uh, that's where the path will go underneath here. Every time I remove the smelter, I end up needing it again almost immediately. That's kind of why <laughs> I'm not doing uh, anything particular with it. Uh, as you can see, the height of this place is going to be at least four, but this area here is actually going to be open. Uh, I'll have a balcony that kind of hangs off here. And we'll make the entrances here, leading into the back room. So this will be some type of a wooden wall. You can fill that in at a later point in time. We'll need at least that. We're going to want some windows here. And actually, these are probably going to be floor-length windows at this. We'll add that in, give it a little bit of framing. Ah, uh, the staircase, the staircase, the staircase. So we assume it's going to be a carpet here, so we're actually going to be up at this level. Take the stairs up. Have a nice little landing about halfway. start going up again, breaking down into just a double. And the floor will come out this way. This will be where the balcony will be hanging out and over. A little bit of an overlap over onto the walkway here. Uh, but the supports will be coming down right there. And what I'm thinking of using will actually be... Oh! Skeleton! I see you, you bastard. Oh, nice. Working on my uh, shoot duck, shoot duck aim sort of thing for uh, PvP matches. We got another competition coming up pretty short, in a pretty short time here. So, you know, then we'll have another one over here. 
Oh, they should not block the window though, should they? So we'll move this one to be in line with that guy. Really? Is that that far away? That is that far away. And we'll have this one marking the edge of the walkway, as well as uh, supporting the balcony over here. So that'll reduce the number of... Reduce the number of pillars that will be going down to just two. Let's get rid of that so it doesn't look that bad. Finish this off there, and I'm going to add a couple of torches up here real quick. We'll just tap, uh, oops, tap F7, see where the lighting issues may be an issue. I'm trying to keep this place as safe as I can. I'd rather not have to constantly fight creepers and repair things over and over again. Just make sure the smelter is okay. Yep, see that depth? There's always issues. There we go. So um, I'm going to figure out uh, what type of wood we're going to be using in here. There's so many different options. Just show you the planks real quick. Uh, so many different colors. Uh, I really like the ghost wood. That's what we have actually growing over there. The eucalyptus, it looks good on the screen here. I kind of like that color. But as soon as you get uh, more than like four or five blocks down, it, it's definitely a weird color pink. Um, the redwood planks, those are actually now an option, and I do kind of like how that looks. It has like a little bit of, you know, the strong lines in it. It looks a, a little bit regal and such here. Uh, the silverwood. Silverwood has so many other uses. <sighs> I, I like the color, uh, but the trees, believe it or not, are actually kind of rare. And uh, the hop seed planks, I haven't actually found out how to get hop seed yet. I don't know if it's just a random tree. I mean, there's a sapling. There's what the tree looks like. And there's the planks and such. There's its own little door. I really like the door. Uh, I would rather use those on the front of this place. But uh, I don't know where to get that yet. I haven't seen that kind of a tree. It's one that's eluding me. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time. Um, maybe work up quick little creative world that shows all the different types of trees and such so we can just uh, have them side by side to compare and uh, then we'll also work on the flooring if I really could get it I almost think uh, some frostbound and some abyssal blocks would look really nice for the flooring uh, in lieu of using the wool so we'll see how that goes and uh, we'll be back in just a moment with uh, uh, with a little bit more information. So guys, just a quick little update. Decided to definitely go with the, uh, the red wood here. Looks very, very nice as the floor. Also got some uh, quarried stone working for the entranceway. And uh, some blood stone for the side walkways. Uh, this is going to take a little bit more time to gather more of these materials and such. So uh, I'm going to gather those, probably put some more in place, move the smelter, and then we can start figuring out what to do with the balconies and such. Hey everybody, so just a final update in this particular area. We have moved the smelter, we have finished off the stone here, many 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 uh, zombies have died, which is very very nice. Uh, you can see more stuff rising on the horizon here. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. I'm not sure that that's going to turn into anything anymore. Whew. So lots to do, lots to do. Um, I'll be explaining these things pretty soon. Well, maybe that. But I was mostly looking at these two. Uh, I lost my shovel earlier. So maybe I'll explain showing you guys that. Haha. <laughs> oh. Nah, I don't have it. Anywho, gonna wrap up this episode here. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. It's always fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.